Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Is the AI bubble starting to show cracks? I've been talking about this for all of the last couple of months. Many of you may know Peter Thiel. He was the co-founder of PayPal. And what he did has been quiet on mainstream media. Peter Thiel's hedge fund, Mithril Capital, completely sold its entire entire NVIDIA stakes during the third quarter of this year, the quarter running from July 1st to September 30th. The exact dates of the sales is not public because institutional investors only have to report their holdings as of the last day of the quarter, which was September 30th. All his NVIDIA shares were sold sometime between July 1st and September 30th. All his shares were gone by sometime, you know, the end of September. This act has raised a lot of speculation, especially when AI seems to be booming, seems to be booming. But Teal has long warned that the AI boom mirrors the 1999.com frenzy, where investors priced in at 15 to 20 years of growth overnight. In a recent interview, he likened it to the over-optimism in tech cycles. Echoing him, Amazon Jeff Bezos called it an industrial bubble. In Goldman Sachs, David Solomon predicts a 12 to 24 month market uh, drawdown. There's evidently other people, uh, groups that are exiting after he did. SoftBank dumped its entire Intibia stake in the third quarter also. Big short investor Michael Burry. Yeah, they sold all their Intibia st um, stocks, too. And Palantir, which is another teal venture. Even Wells Fargo analysis are pivoting to sleepy utility stocks as AI power demand strain the grids. Many people have noticed the rise in their power bills to subsidize these data centers. Many people don't realize that half of the U.S. GDP growth is from this AI bubble. Half. So I, I guess you could say that it's basically what is keeping the stock market going. Teal's exit isn't just a trim, it's a complete bailout, shrinking his funds equity holding by about two thirds. Bubbles don't just pop overnight. Um, they're saying expect volatility through uh, next year with a potential crash of the fourth quarter earnings disappearing or if venture capitals dries up, in a big sense, it's like a pyramid scheme. Many uh, people are investing into AI. Um, people don't realize that um, companies like teachers' unions, uh, pension funds, and even churches have invested into this AI. There was a recent article about um, a lot of homes selling um, for cash. The housing market bubble is also um, showing weakening. And many uh, of the homes now um, have lost half their value. But some are being bought up with people paying cash. And I looked into who was paying um, the cash. Well, it's evidently people who have stock. They're selling their stock in Nadibia and now paying cash for the homes from the money that they received after selling their stock. As of December this year, today is the second, I believe, institutional investors like Vanguard and BlackRock dominate ownership of NVIDIA of holdings of 8 to 9% each. So besides SoftBank Group selling all of its shares, which was $32 million, and Teal, which was 537, 742 shares, worth about $100 million. Fidelity Investments has sold uh, $48.9 million uh, dollars of shares, about 23%. We also have Bridgewater Associates. They sold 65% uh, of their shares. And they also cut 36% of Microsoft and 50% in Alphabet. That was as of November's filing. Ticon Asset Management. Um, not a direct sale, but a major short position, $186.5 in sales for short options. 
Other notable reductions include D.E. Shaw. They cut 40% in call options. And Volo Ridge, they cut 28% of their shares. And I wonder about this because the CEO and uh, founder of Nindivia, uh, Jensen Wan, sold 200,000 shares in late July, worth about $36 million, supposedly for a personal diversification diversification. Um, it is said that it was routine. His stake remains at 3.8%. In my opinion, when you have CEOs and founders of the uh, chip company uh, selling their stock, it really makes me wonder, wouldn't you? What do you think? They're saying that if there is a full bubble burst or what is called a buyable dip, there could be a 20 to 40% market correction by the middle of next year, 2026. That's according to Deutsche Bank. And recently, there's been some major companies that have done buybacks of their own stock. Um, sometimes this is when they feel that their stocks are undervalued. Some of the companies is Apple. They bought back uh, $100 billion in their stock. Uh, Google Alphabet. They bought $70 billion of their own stock back. NVIDIA bought back $60 billion. That was 1.4%. It was, evidently was the highest ever, even though um, they do have signals that AI confidence um, is still ongoing. Wells Fargo, uh, $40 billion, about 10%. Visa, uh, $30 billion. Uh, 2%. Exxon Mobil, $20 billion. That's going to continue through uh, this coming year. Uh, 2%. Walmart, evidently, um, as of November 19th, spent $7 billion in share buybacks of its own stock. Big retail chains, um, think of department stores, home improvement giants, off-price retailers, and convenience store operators have been actively uh, repurchasing their own shares this year as part of a broader corporate trend where the S&P 500 firms are on track for $1.1 trillion in total buybacks. This is to boost earnings per share amid economic uncertainty. Walmart is the leader in buying back its shares, like I said, um, 7 maybe to $8 billion through the third quarter. Home Depot, um, bought back six to seven billion dollars. Lowe's bought back four to five billion dollars. TJX, um, bought back between two and two point five billion dollars. Target bought back three to four billion dollars. Tasco, one to one point five billion dollars. Tractor Supply, about point five to maybe one billion dollars. That would be about 2.4% of their stocks that they have out there. KC General Stores. Yeah, I did a complaint about how one of their cashiers um, ripped me off. I did get my money back from being charged twice for a large pur purchase. But they bought back about 1% of their stock, um, 0 0.4 to $0.6 billion. So they bought back the stock. Because it props up stock prices. I don't. Is the economy showing cracks? What are your What are your thoughts about this? Some have said that if there is a crash this coming year, it's going to be worse than the Great Depression. The Great Depression lasted from 1929 to 1939, about 10 years. You know, the stock market right now, 50% is being held up by AI. 50% of the GDP. Between 1929 and 1933 was the worst years for the U.S. GDP. It fell 30%. Unemployment peaked to about 25% in 1933. And thousands of banks failed. Between 1930 and 1933, over 9,000 banks collapsed. And there was runs on banks. Uh, and it became common during, during those, those years. And it, you know, basically didn't end until we started or entered into World War II. That's when the full economic recovery came with massive military spending. The UK abandoned the gold standard in 1931 and the US followed in 1933. 
they'll probably bring out this digital currency uh, when the crash does happen. I hope it doesn't happen, but if it does come this coming year, you know, they'll probably do the same thing. The uh, digital currency is already starting in some countries. Some of the list of the countries that have launched uh, CBDC, one would be the Bahamas. Um, they did that in October of 2020 for retail. Nigeria, um, October 21st, 2021. Jamaica, um, July of 2022. Eastern Caribbean, eight islands, March of 2021. China, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, 2020. You can't do anything in China unless um, you you got that on your phone. They got that uh, social score. You can't uh, work. You can't rent. You can't travel um, without that social score. Many people, mostly the younger generation, are now homeless. India, they got the full launch for this year. Russia, they got the digital ruble. That was fully rolled out to all citizens and businesses this year. Uh, Brazil is called DREX, full retail launch as of October of this year. Now for banks, Thailand and Hong Kong, UAE and China, they launched the CBDC platform in October of last year. Uh, Saudi Arabia and the UAE, uh, 2019 and 2024, and the transfer is ongoing over there. France, uh, Switzerland, and Singapore. They're still going through various trials. And that's ongoing since 2023. The Eurozone Digital Euro Preparation Phase is planned for next year through 2028. United Kingdom is expected uh, to happen in 2026. Canada right now is only doing the research. Um, Japan, they're doing a pilot phase with banks, possible in 2026 and 2027 launch. South Korea, their wholesale pilot is complete and retail pilot is ongoing. Australia, they have um, the pilot program complete as of 2024, and there's no final decision when it's going to be uh, mandatory. More than 130 countries, 98% of global GDP, are researching or have developed the CBDCs. Yeah, I'm sorry, this is much longer than what I thought it would be, um, but it all started out with the stock. And yeah, I wanted you know you guys to have a heads up for what's coming. We're going to have hyperinflation. The Bible does say it's going to be a cost of a day's wages for a loaf of bread. And recently, when I was talking to um, a rep, um, a sales rep, I was canceling one of my subscriptions to uh, one of the news outlets. Yeah, I told him what you could do is just stock up on food. Yeah, when you figure that's going to be the, the first thing that's going to hit us uh, the hardest, you know, along with rents and buying houses, yeah, 50% or um, the housing market is crashing. And those that are buying the houses are paying cash from selling their stock. Yeah, they know what's coming down the pike. So what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please share, and subscribe. I cover things that the mainstream media and other um, YouTubers don't cover. Always be prepared. Yeah, I would say stock up on food. And when the crash does happen, when it readjusts itself, it's not going to be like the 1920s and 1930s. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of violence. You think we got a lot of violence now around the world? Well, it's only going to get worse because desperate people uh, want to feed their families. Please stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all.